Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond Redux. In the last part, we got here to Ornberg City and we basically went through the um, route west uh, or the east of um, uh, Judah Blythe City and we went through Ornberg Gate, got the HM06 for Rock Smash, I believe. I think it's 06. 06. And now we're in Ornberg City and we're just gonna. We were told by um, a trainer, he, he directed us to the gym, and uh, apparently Cody, or apparently Sam, there I go with Cody again. Apparently Sam, um, he got his gym badge already and he's like, oh, the gym leader's a long run, he went to the Lindbergh mine. Yeah, so we're gonna head there in a second, but I wanna show you guys where some items are. I can, if, unless this is only in Platinum. No, but this is also in Diamond and Pearl, it's a Stardust, cool. Very worth, for selling items and stuff. So that's cool. Um, and we can head for the Lindbergh Gate, or Lindbergh Gate, Lindbergh Mine now. So why not, um... Let's grab this item right here. It's a X defend, a battle item, which I probably won't be using. I'll probably sell that later on. Uh, everyone that works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. Ha ha ha! What's so funny about that? I'm just a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> there are Pokemon that look just like rocks. They sure surprised me, like Geodude, for example. Speaking of Geodude, I just ran into one right there. So let's just go deeper in the one big mine. Why, why not? Ah! I guess I shouldn't be complaining because all these Geodudes I've been running into are giving me, giving, um, Rose a lot of experience. My Badoo. So that's good. No, I don't mean to do that. Okay, ah! After that battle, Rose grew to level 12, so now Rose is tied with um, Inferno on level, so that's pretty cool, I guess. But I'm gonna keep Rose up front because, um, you know, um, Inferno doesn't have any super effective moves against the Rock type Pokemon in here. And you can also run into Onyx too, but Onyx is a, a little less common, more, more or less common than um, Geodudes in the Oenberg mine. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna read, read your dialogue. <laughs> I met this Machop. I met these Machop on Route two, two or seven. They're they're they've now become my most trusted partners. Cool. Chop ma chop macho. <laughs> That's what it says. Dang it! I forgot that you could also run into uh, run into Zubats in here too. They're very common too as well. Uh, this Machop says chop chop. I think this person actually, this trainer actually battles you, this iron worker guy. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I stuck my Pokemon to work. Oh, you're so bad. After that battle, you'll um you'll notice that um all the um workers in here have um Machops that know Rock Smash. It's really not a move to worry about, so you you don't really have to sweat. Here's a potion. Oh look, let's talk to him. He looks interesting. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking away explodes. <laughs> Uh, fallen boulders need to be smashed so they are out of the way. If you can, if you could get the badge from the gym in, this, in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Okay, we'll, we'll battle you later on. So yeah, let's talk to this Machop. Machop. Fine, alrighty then, just a quick battle on my break.
Okay, in that battle, uh, Rose, my Badoo, learned Mega Drain at level 13, which is a really great move. It's way better than Absorb, but I'll still keep Absorb at this point. I want to just rearrange her moves now. So, um, Mega Drain can go first, then Absorb and grow. Yeah, there we go, that works. Because I want to just make it organized for the bottom screen stuff when I select its moves and stuff in battle. And then Inferno. Uh, yeah, that's fine. His, uh... His moves can just stay the same, I guess. Now here's an escape rope, but I'm gonna actually cut to the back where I'm where I the mine, because I want to go back and like just run into what Pokemon battles if I just happen to. Uh, how many Pokemon uh, Pokemon battles I uh, run into, I don't know. It just depends. I'm gonna work my way back because I believe I want some more training before the gym, so j I'm just gonna do that. But I'll see you guys at the uh, end of the um at the end, when we get back to the outside the um, Oinberg mine. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, here we are back outside the Orenburg mine, back in Orenburg City. Uh, over, um, on my way back outside the mine, when I was working my way back outside the Orenburg mine, um, Rose, my Badoo, grid level 14. I did show that, of course, as you saw there, but I didn't commentate over it because I forgot to. Like, I was so focused and just, like, getting out of the mine, so I'll just show that off there. And yeah, um, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show off Route 207 right here. I got the name, I got the number right, which is awesome. And uh, and sh there's really not much on this route. It's just uh, well, this is half like this is like half of the route, which we can't even access the the full route yet because if you go down here, there's a slope, and you can't run up it. You needed the bicycle for it, which we will get in a, in time in like the future but like if we talk to this guy he'll say that slope's too slippery you need a bike to get up you don't have a bicycle there's a cycle there's a cycle shop in um eternal city I had to burp there so that's why my commentary stopped for a second <laughs> yeah there we'll get to eternal city later though so let's just try to get some items here i think there's a hidden item somewhere well maybe not here yeah i'm not, not here but um yeah Let's see here. I'll just, ah. Uh... Okay, um, you can find my chops here, which are really good. Um, one for, you know, it's a fighting type Pokemon, and you can use it against the rock type gym. There's a Pokeball there. And two, um, I'll show this later, but there's actually an in-game trade where if a, a girl asks for, if you have a Machop, and trade for Abra, for her Abra. If, um, you have a Machop, which you can catch one on this route, um, you can trade for that Abra, and then that way you don't have to, like, try to catch an Abra in the wild where they're trying to use Teleport all the time, you know, fleeing from battle. So yeah, aw, oh, dang it. And of course you can find Geodudes in here as well. Here's another Pokeball, it's a hidden item though. So let's just see if we can get out of here without running into wild Pokemon. Yay! We got out of there without running into wild Pokemon. Another wild Pokemon, I should say. So other than that, um, I want to show off the um, city a little bit. Um, here's the Pokemon. I want to see if I can buy any items or something. Um, Pokeballs. I'll buy two more. And you kind of want to buy items for the upcoming gym battle. In gym, if you're if you're into that. Two potions, I guess. Antidotes. I'll buy one more antidote, just to have it, I guess. And Pearl Seals, we'll buy one more Pearl Seal. And on the left side, I believe just the Heal Ball and the Something Mail. I forget the, what mail it was. Uh, the tur the Tunnel Mail, actually. And we can buy Net Balls, too. Heal Balls, I already explained, like, if you, um, catch this Pokemon in a Heal Ball, it'll restore its health. But then, if you have six Pokemon already, the Pokemon already goes to your PC, and that automatically restores all of its power points and HP, health points, I guess you could say. Here's a netball. Um, the description says a somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well on water and bug type Pokemon, but it's a thousand Poke Dollars. I'll skip out on that for now. Well, I could buy one, cause yeah, I'll buy one. Uh, I'll skip, first. I'll sell some stuff. Stardust. Yeah, if I sell my Stardust for a thousand Poke Dollars, I'll get a thousand Poke Dollars. That's cool. So that works out great. And then what else can I sell? The what about the battle items? X defend, I'll sell X defend. Okay. 
And buy, actually. I'll buy the netball then. One netball. So there we go. Works out great. And after that, if I can get out the door, that'd be great. Okay, yeah. Um, so let's see here. Uh, one of these po people give you an item, and it's a dusk ball. But I forget which one, which person gives you that item. Oh yeah, um, here's the in-game trade for, if you have a Machop, you can trade for Abra. But I'm not going to. So, it's just there if you need it. Again, if you're just having trouble catching an Abra in the wild, because you just teleport all the time and flees from battle. I'll poke mine off special power called an ability. Yes, okay. I think this is the person right here that gives you the dusk ball. If I can get to her, that'd be great. How my Pokemon and I are like... It's not everything I can explain easily. Nope, I was wrong. Of course, it's a different person. I don't think it's this guy, but let's talk to this guy. The view is good from here, but it's a pain going out. If you don't mind... How about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? I think if you showed, yeah, if you show him a Pokemon Zubat, the Pokemon Zubat, um, he'll give you something. But I don't want to do that because I don't think it's way an important item or anything like that. So I'll just skip out on it. Um, is it you that gives me the Dusk Ball? Work lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. Yeah, that's really nice of him to do that, actually. I did some training in the mine earlier. A gym leader isn't just any trainer you meet. It, I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. Yeah, I have something on my sleeve called type advantages, so... Um, yeah, um, there are eight gym leaders in the Sinai region. The objective for all trainers is to get gym badges from them all. Yes, I know that. I played this game before. I played Pokemon games before within this concept with, uh... 8 pages, RPG and stuff, all that. Are you catching Pokemon here? Take this if you like. Yeah, we got the Dusk Ball, which is nice. Now, the Dusk Ball, if I can read its description, it's really good for catching Pokemon at night or in caves. If I can get to the Pokeball's pocket. There we go. Yeah, it says, a somewhat different ball, Pokeball that makes it easier to catch po wild Pokemon at night or in dark places like a cave, like caves. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. I'd make it if you. F I'd make you feel as it. It'd make you feel as if they're your very own. But we named our Psyduck Yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Yellow says duck, and a question: duck, 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 goose. Okay. Other than that, I think that's all I want to show off in Wollenberg City. So, um, I'm going to cut the part right here. So, in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walkthrough Guide, we will take on the next, um, or the gym. And it'll be a short part for next part. I know this part was very long, but the next part will just be the gym, and it'll be very short. So, yeah. So, this is Vajanko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walkthrough Guide. Thank you.